Hey guys, gals, and legionnaires, Rykon here, and welcome back to Let's Relax with RimWorld. Now, last episode was actually quite relaxing. Surprisingly enough, uh, other than like a few power woes, I think today might not be as relaxing. We'll see. We'll see how it goes, but I, I, have, a, I have a feeling, I have a feeling <laughs> that things have been, you know, going a little bit too well for us lately. No doubt that will change shortly. Why, why don't they like my gazelle leather jackets? I think they're cool. But for some reason, Solid and, and Aulus have decided that, you know, you know what, I don't need I don't need it. I don't need your leather jackets. So, fine, it's okay. It's, you know, I only spent a lot of time making them and everything, and they kind of like embroidered your names on them, and it's, it's cool. You don't... I'm disappointed. Disappointed. What's been killed? Okay, fox. Fox versus raccoon. Fight to the death and the fox wins. Congratulations, fox. And he's gonna go ahead and eat him. Nice. And everything's freezing outside at the moment. Um, like right away. So the temperature is definitely cold outside now. So I wonder whether or not these two let you decide to wear those jackets. I don't know. I don't know. Now, last episode I did talk about getting um, up some extra kind of growing, and I think I'm still tempted to do that. I, yeah, I don't know. I guess it depends how fast we can research things here. S surprisingly, Sam's jumping straight into construction, uh, which I guess that's because I have that turned on to two. Research should be top priority at the moment, but thank you, Sam. You, do, you are doing a fantastic job. I'll let her finish what she's doing there. Looks like Solid is going to get involved as well, because there isn't much cooking that needs to be done. Um, and I guess you're not making any more kibble, because we have over the limit of kibble. So, yeah, I mean, that's cool. Nice. And that shouldn't spoil, because we're all frozen now. Good. And we should hopefully be generating some more power. I'm guessing this is using a decent amount. Uh, 250, 350. Ah, you failed. Oh, well. I forgive you. If you give you this once. Hmm. I'd like these to be hauled. I'd like to be generating the full amount of power here. So um, perhaps I might just steal, say, Zeke. No empty place. Oh, because it's limestone, right? I guess maybe I should allow limestone here as well. Let's have a look. Ah. Uh, Allow all stone chunks, why not? Why not? Why not? So, can you go ahead and move that for me? Appreciate it. Thank you. And now we'll just recruit you until you drop it. There we go. Great. Done. And move over here. Great. Okay. Alright, and now I will just take it off hauling. No! Stop it! <laughs> oh dear. How about now? Yeah. That's right, Zeke. Stop trying to be so helpful. <laughs> um, we're actually getting a decent amount of stone blocks each time, which uh, which means that we might actually have the Great Hall kind of done faster than I thought we would, which I'm happy about. And I'm kind of hoping that'll increase their happiness being inside there. I was talking about having some wooden structures built but to do that we would need art skill and Zeke wow Zeke is super passionate about art but then again Aulus is as well how did I miss that Aulus is is really passionate about art that's awesome okay well in that case I might need to look at trying to trying to get a, a little area that Aulus can work on that which is Aulus's room uh solid Aulus. Okay, so that's that's Aulus's room there. Let's go into production and look at chucking in a sculptor's table. And let's not build it out of steel. Let's build it out of some of the hundred pieces of wood that we've got. Uh, we are going to have to move some things around though. So let's see if we can... Ah, we can't move it? Really? Reinstall. Okay, we can reinstall that over there. That I'm fine with. That actually kind of makes me want to reinstall the others. Otherwise, it's going to annoy me, but hey, what what can you do? Are you going to go ahead and... Re can, you can't reinstall that, can you? No. No, that'd be too useful. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, dear. Nice. Got some granite blocks. 
Uh, I, I know you want to do that really bad, but um, if you can move that. There we go, just like that. And let's go ahead and chuck down the wooden sculptor's table. And I might see if I can quickly, quickly build that as well. Maybe just chucking down a stool. How much, how much more comfortable is the dining chair in comparison? I mean, it takes a lot more, right? Let's just chuck a stool in there for now. The stool will be fine. There you go. What, what are you? Hauling's, ah, oh, we do need some steel, okay. Really, did you need all that steel? Well, yes, you do. 50 steel, damn. And it is being made out of wood, right? Yeah, wood sculptor's table. Yeah. Okay. Well, that, look at this. This is actually coming along a lot faster than I thought it would. We are going to be out of those blocks very soon, though, so... Still, I'm impressed. Hey, hey, hey. And Zeke, you're doing the chair. Escape pod. Hmm. Let's have a look. We might have a new person here. Who are you? Lev. Oh, Lev. Okay, male spa- Wow, you're old, Lev. You are old. But, you know, we won't judge. You're probably quite skilled because of that. Okay, let's see. Yeah, good construction, decent mining, decent artistic, and actually kind of good at growing. Not too bad. And capable of intellectual, caring, social, scary, and crafting. What, what the hell can you do? Is it because you're lazy? No? You were a psychiatric patient. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. But... Okay, so that means no, no crafting or research. But you could still do artistic endeavors. And you are a pretty damn good miner. Okay. You could be a solid miner for us. The question is, do we want to, do we want to rescue you in that way? You got dementia though. Shit. <laughs> oh no. Uh, lazy is not so great, but hell, maybe we can make it work. We would have to, we can't just straight up. Where are you, Liv? Where'd you go? No shit. <laughs> Where is Lev? I know they weren't too far away, right? Yeah, yeah, just up here, just up here. Okay. Now, what are the options? Rescue. See, if we just rescue them, he could just, like, walk away. Hmm. Maybe we should just rescue, because I'm not... I'm... I... Yeah, I don't know. I, I'm not so sure about Lev. Also, because I don't want to incur, like, the wrath of... You know, anyone that he might be associated with. Let's have a look. Social. No relationships. Okay. No, well, that's fine. We're going we're gonna to capture him then. Go ahead and capture Lev. And what what are your injuries like? I didn't actually see. Just cuts, mostly. So we, we can just use basic. We, we don't have to use proper medicine on him. So you go ahead and bring him in. Into our prisoner's room. Which uh, we, we know people don't do so well in. <laughs> it's definitely not the nicest one in the world. Okay, so let's go ahead. Yeah, so if we did have any herbal medicine, we would use it. So, uh, let's see. Solid. You are a medic, right? Go ahead and treat him. But you're also, you're also a main shooter? You got a sniper rifle? Yeah, you are pretty damn decent when it comes to, to shooting. That's right, I gave him the sniper rifle because he'd be further away from the action. Which kind of makes sense to me. What the hell? Is there like a ship that's crashed in orbit? Another 84 year old. What? What? Oh, okay. Right, so he is an acquaintance of Lev. Interesting. Wow, really good at social. Holy crap. And really good artistically. Decent shooter. Eberdouard Strong. <laughs> what is going on? I guess we could chuck another bed in here. Make it out of wood. Yeah. Stop relaxing socially. Wow, okay. 
All right. I'm going to get Rykon to quickly go ahead and construct that bed and then go and grab Ebedward, who also seems to be... Hang on. Capture. There we go. Um, yeah, so what were those wounds from? Oh, just bruises. Crack. What's the gear? Just synthroid pants, so you're kind of naked at the moment. So those are... Those are uh, yeah, those we can treat. Uh, I'm hoping we're not going to get any infection with Lev here. Because we're just, we're just doing basic, basic bandaging at the moment. I don't want to waste any resources on them, really. So 84. Okay. Let's, let's go chat and recruit. We'll see if we can. Uh, I mean, we'd really have to really have to work it to be able to get them to go. Uh, but I think it was Sam that was also really good. No, is it solid? No, it's Aulus, right? Aulus is also really good at social. Yeah. I think Aulus is actually going up there now. Let's see what they can do. Oh, look at that. That research is coming along. Nice. Are we on our way to... What? I changed it. Damn it. No. Ah, fine. We'll let machining finish because it's a decent way through. I swear I selected geothermal power last episode. I did, right? I'm gonna swap to it again. Oh, am I not selecting it? Research. Oh shit. Okay. Right, we'll go on we'll go on to this now. I I, I don't one hundred percent need machining right this moment. But getting some geothermal power right there would be freaking epic. I would kinda of redesign how this area works a little bit. To make that kind of work out for us. How is everyone doing over here? Okay, you're bringing him in. Ebedward. So Ebedward is going to need some treatment for sure. And we're also going to go chat and recruit. Okay, solid. Can you go and help our friend up here, Ebedward? So we've had two, two grey ones join. Well, not join, but uh, be rescued. I wonder if there, so there, is, there is some kind of history between the two of them is a friend. Okay. Hmm. Aldous built a rapport. Nice. Good work, Aldous. Good work. He's a hard worker, though, so I kind of feel like getting Eberduard would be better. Uh, he's also just slightly younger. <laughs> um, I, I don't know, um, you know... Oh, we, we're actually... We got some rice in, although I imagine it's not going to be able to grow that well. Same thing with the cotton plants that are down there. Rain gonna help? You're kind of freezing rain though. Not the nicest. Hay grass is nearly ready. I don't know if it's gonna get there, so I think before a cold snap comes, it's probably gonna be better for us to just go ahead and harvest it. Yeah. So tomorrow morning, someone should do it. Oh, we are having way too much luck right now. What is, what's in the cargo pods, though? Oh. Oh, this is it here. That's all it was? Just one thing. Oh, we need to rebuild that. How, how the hell did I forget about that? Okay. Penocycline. A drug for blocking various infections. Blocks malaria, sleeping sickness, and plague. Take every five days. Not bad. Um, I guess we'll bring it in we don't really have space to bring it in I guess we could kind of uh, expand that a little bit hmm that should actually get brought into the freezer because it's classed as medicine yeah see if we could start producing drugs like that that would be good to kind of block off I mean I, I we're not really liable to getting malaria but I mean plague and stuff like that and other kind of sicknesses hmm So how, how often was it you meant to take it? Take every five days. Yes, I mean, that would last for a little while. Who knows, they might actually take it. Um, okay, so at least one of your colonists, Aulus. So are you, are you gonna go ahead and wear that freaking jacket now? Ah, power again. No, not cool. I guess it's because we're also running these all the time. Yeah, so let's go ahead and toggle power off for now. I mean, we also wanna build the copy over here like so 
Yeah, I kind of forgot that I did have those running all the time. Which we don't need them to be, so that allows us to kind of build up a little bit more charge. Okay. Zeke has gotten food poisoning. Great. Actually, no, in saying that, that could also be from when um, I was doing a little bit of cooking as well. It's entirely possible. Do we get some rice in? We actually managed to harvest some rice. Nice. I don't even know where that came from, but uh, okay, I won't I won't complain. Hmm. Okay, so Aulus, are you gonna do something about wearing that jacket maybe? Yeah, I feel like those those meals were from when I was doing them. Uh, we are getting a little bit of cooking going, which is good. I feel like we might need to start hunting again soon. Let these two have a bit of a chat to them for a bit. And Alice, I'm actually going to come over and force you to wear one of these because, um, yeah. I feel like you should be wearing it. It looks like that medicine came in as well, which is sweet. Doesn't seem to be upset. Slept in the cold. Yeah, well that's because we ran out of power. Like noobs. Okay, we're gonna have a look around. Um, and saying that, I do like the research that's happening at the moment. Mmm. But we also need some things to come in. And it doesn't take too long to go hunting. And maybe go hunting versus the bear. There's a lot of deer though. Let's go mark them for hunting. And give some more leather as well. Uh, boom rat, we don't need to be hunting. That's a few deer. Few deer. So I wonder if Sam is likely to go and do that now. Let's have a look. Let's see, Sam. There we go. Put research on two. Sorry, Sam. We're gonna need a little bit more extra food in now. Otherwise, Rumworld's gonna get upset at us and start yelling. We don't want that. Solid, come on. How are we doing on the blocks here? Okay, we've got, we've got a decent amount. We should be able to get most of this going. I'm probably gonna change the animal zone so they stop going into there though. <laughs> okay, animal area one. We're gonna clear this area here so that you guys stop wandering around inside. There we go. I'll let you do that. I'll, 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 I'll allow them in there as well. Here we go. Give you a little bit more space to roam about. I'm surprised more of them haven't uh, self-tamed themselves. Damn, we're getting close to finishing this place. I'm gonna have to start building some more things in there soon. And you know what, I think we might actually start chucking down... Um, oh, Aulus. Aulus. I haven't given you anything to work on yet. Let's see, let's go... Let's just make some small sculptures at the moment. What are you gonna make them out of? Wood. I'd like them to not be made out of steel or stone blocks. Just just wood for now would be great. Um, let's see, we want one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. At least eight. We'll see. I know that will take a while to do though, so yeah. We'll see how long it takes to do one. I'll allow it to finish playing horseshoes. Making school small sculpture. Nice. I haven't forgotten about our friends up the top, but I will I will check on them. Apologies if you can hear my stomach rumbling at the moment. Apparently I'm hungry. <laughs> I don't know whether or not the microphone's going to be able to pick it up, but uh, I have been making some noise. Oh, these guys must be freezing. I feel a little bit sorry for them. Poor dudes. Oh, you're suffering from hypothermia. Yeah, I should probably do something about that. Hmm. Guess it's not too much further for that to run. Uh, although we could probably just put a campfire in here for now burns out after a few days it is a little inefficient um, but I guess we're not gonna have people in here forever so what are you doing right now cutting stone blocks just build that campfire for us for now ah more food poisoning perfect and I, I kind of hope it doesn't catch the beds on fire <laughs> that's my hope oh, it's quite warm in there now 30 degrees that's not bad not bad I mean, the chance is definitely there for us to recruit them. And, well, we've got some more food coming in. Nice. Sam is doing a solid job. And Sol is doing a solid job of cooking. 
Ooh, the Great Hall is getting there. Um, how much work does this take? 116, that's not too much, right? Aulis is feeling, feeding a simple meal, which is nice of her. Solid, are you not cold? I guess you're inside quite a bit, right? Hmm. If, if you are liable to like not be upset with wearing that, I'm gonna, Sam, Sam, you get upset too often. In a little bit of pain from that old gun shot wound. Yeah. Get that comfort back up. Yep, sleeping good. And we'll check on R2 up here. They should be doing a little bit better. Okay. How's that hypothermia? Gone. Perfect. Fantastic. 29 degrees. Sweet. Okay, one day and 20 hours. Alright, we're just going to make sure that we actually refuel it. I don't know if we want to make that a gathering spot. How are we doing, people? How are we doing? Sam, cheer yourself up. As much as you need. Still got a decent amount of kibble there. Happy about that. Oh, I guess they are just eating some of the grass around. Which I guess is why it's becoming a little bit more bare around here. Because I'm guessing that's what the other muffalos do when they're kind of roaming around. Which they are, they're roaming around here at the moment. Are you growing at all? I'd be surprised if you were. I mean, 5% grown. Yeah, so not a huge amount. Oh, we're going to run out of freaking power again. No work done on that yet. That's turned off. Uh, let's look at turning some things off overnight. We don't need that tailor bench at the moment. Nothing's actually being made. Let's have a look at the bills. Make dust and stuff. Yeah, we don't need to... We don't need to be doing that right now. Not for like another season. Low temperatures though. I'm gonna get rid of those for now. It's all quiet. Too quiet, if you ask me. Is that just a regular bush? Ah, leave it. Leave it then. It's a mature bush. Alright, okay. Let's just fast forward through the night. Nothing else interesting is happening. These two are slowly getting better. It is actually taking quite a while to get better. Um, and I'm not surprised. And there goes the freaking power again. Yeah. Um, okay, we've got a few animals in here. I'm going to change the priority again. We're going to go to work and we're going to make research top priority for Sam. And we're going to put hunting on two. There we go. That's better. I feel like that's good. I mean, really, I could make Solid a uh, potential hunter as well, which would kind of make sense because Solid would be kind of cooking at the same time. And does have the sniper rifle, so... And pretty decent shooting skills, so... You know what? Let's, um... Let's change that around a bit. Make uh, hunting number two priority for you. Yeah, that's good. That'll work. And then Sam can just focus on... You know, focus on getting stuff done. So once we run out of meat here, he will go out and get some. And Lev has got some food poisoning. Nice, that's the, that's the last thing that he needed. <laughs> okay, still got a decent while left on that. I think it was a good idea. It's just, you know, it's, it's easier than going and running power all the way up here. They don't really need it. I mean, they're, 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 it's going to be pretty low. Not super happy, but uh, hey... Oh, we are going to be using food as well to feed them. So, yeah. I do need to be a little wary of that. What was that? It sounded like something just got deconstructed, maybe. Hmm. Weird. A little weird. Ooh, alright. That's what I'm talking about. Good. Nicely done, Zeke. Almost there. Alright. And we're going to go ahead and turn it off right away. Thank you. Thank you very much. Aulis, making a small sculpture? Nice, good work. Let's see, let's see how fast Aulis can do this. Kind of fast. It's going to take a few days to make a sculpture, it looks like, but it gives Aulis something to do. And it's going to give us a chance to start to kind of beautify some of these areas. Because uh, once this is fully constructed, which is close to being, this will be one of their main living areas. So, I'll actually have a look. Go into furniture, and we're going to look at chucking down a long table. I'm thinking I'm probably going to do them like that. 
so like on either side of this because that's that's the center right and I can't quite get them centered but I can kind of go either side of the center I think so it would be kind of like that does that work no it doesn't not not exactly hmm how am I best gonna get that to work because I want it to kind of be as centered as possible I think that might be the best way to go because I can go on either side of it I can't go with them exactly together yeah we'll just go like that for now and we're gonna chuck down some dining chairs let's see this is gonna take a decent amount of wood but we actually have a lot of wood uh, kind of installed at the moment Should we be able to fit one or two there? I think if we fit one on each end like that, because uh, if there's food there, then they can't eat in that same space. Oh, good, yeah, and that actually allows me to have that free because I eventually want to get some carpet down that down the centerpiece. Yeah, and that'll give them a chance to use some of that wood and kind of expand our uh, abilities. That beer. I'm not so keen on it. Not so keen. And an Ibex is given birth. Look at him. Look at him go. Nice. Oh. They're, they're doing their thing again. Just very shortly after we're given birth, it looks like. Okay. Four. I guess I guess they can mate any time of the year. Aldous, how's it going? New recruit, live. All right, sweet. So he actually got someone on board, and it wasn't the hard-working one, unfortunately. Uh, so he's still suffering from food poisoning, which is a little unfortunate. Uh, but we're, we're going to go ahead. We're going to put live right to work. And you know what? Before the episode ends, we're going to go ahead. We're going to randomize. We're going to get a name for live. So I'll be back in a moment. Righty, I have returned, and congratulations to Dustin Pancakes. Yeah, Dustin Pancakes. And now I'm pretty sure I remembered how to spell it. We're going to jump into here and we're going to see if we can fit that in here fully. So Dustin Pancakes. Great, we can. All right, and so I think we're probably just going to call you Dustin for short uh, rather than Dustin Pancakes each time. But uh, Dustin, you are a man. Now, as to what we're going to do with Dustin, let's have a look. We're definitely going to need some more meals. And you know what? We're going to need a new room as well. Crap, I didn't even think about that. I think we might continue... See, that? No, that's the unfortunate thing is that we start going over the... Uh, it'll come to me in a second. The, uh, the fertile ground, which we don't want. We definitely don't want that. Uh, I might be able to start kind of building off the side. I think we might do this. Nice, it was me that recruited him solid um we might do that actually build some larger rooms off the side here which is what i was kind of wanting to do eventually so let's look at doing that we're gonna have to make some kind of temporary kind of sleeping arrangement for him though so granite blocks and let's see i want to make these quite large rooms one two three four Five. They're pretty big, right? Yeah, it, it's pretty big, but I I think it'll I think it'll work for us. I think it'll work uh, because it's going to give them, you know, a a, a, a really decent mood boost. Uh, that's kind of what I'm hoping with here is that uh, we'll be able to we'll be able to make it work with these. I think once we get more colonists, we won't be able to. Yeah, we won't be able to have it working this way with us having such large bedrooms, but I think while we're still kind of relatively small in numbers, we'll be able to make it work. And saying that, how long does that buff stay with you? It doesn't stay for that long, right? The 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 small bedroom? Hmm. Yeah, see it doesn't it doesn't stick around. It does wear off as the day goes by, so... Awful bedroom. Yeah, I guess unless you're working in that space, uh, it, it's not as good. Yeah. Hmm. Because having, like, that 
kind of sized room wouldn't be as good either, right? But I wonder, I wonder if we just kind of knocked it down that way. What determines it being spacious or not? I guess I should find out before I build it, but uh, I think we're probably still going to build it anyway. Uh, because we need to get something kind of started there. I wonder whether or not that's just a waste. Like, if, if it could be smaller. I don't know. I'm not sure about that. I'm, I'm not sure. But uh, the hall is very, very nearly actually fully sealed. Which I'm happy about. But at the same time, I really want that to come together. That would be nice. Okay, so Dustin. Dustin, I'm pretty sure, is going to be our miner. Let's have a look. Yeah, I mean... I think he's going to be minor. That's going to be the main, the main go for him. He's still a little hurt at the moment. Let's go for bed rest being number one as well. Flicking is going to be number one. Handling, your yeah, handling's okay. Cooking's not good. Hunting's not good. Construction, construction's actually pretty good as well. So, I think I think mining as a top priority. When there's no mining to be done, construction definitely. Growing is actually pretty high as well, so we'll put that as a number one priority. Uh, not that I think anything can be grown right now. Make plant cutting up there as well. Art's okay, and you can haul and clean. So Dustin is actually going to help us out a decent amount by being that person that can... Um... Oh, you're actually trying to tame at the moment? Yeah, just, just, uh, you, you go mine. Yeah, so Dustin's gonna be good in that he's gonna be the person that can do mining for us, where we don't really have anyone else doing mining at the moment. And I think getting a little bit more steel is gonna be good for us in the long run, especially if we're gonna be doing things like, um, how are you doing at the hunting solid? I'm gonna have to just keep an eye on him for a second. Yeah, because if we're gonna be building the geothermal, um, generator, we're gonna need a decent amount of steel to be able to do that. Oh, except you're lazy, aren't you? Shit. See, he's good at mining, but he is also lazy. So he's going to be quite slow. So I guess as long as we don't need that metal in a hurry, it's going to keep him busy. We hit it. Nice. Oh, nice. You killed it. Well done. Solid. Very nicely done. Okay. It's starting to get a little crowded and messy in here, unfortunately, but uh, it's okay. Slightly impressive bedroom. Okay, that's not so bad, and that's from, oh, it's a slightly larger room, right? Yeah, so maybe, maybe that will be big enough, and not consume quite as much space, possibly, possibly. I'm surprised we haven't had some more construction done there. How is this going? One, Aulus, come on, finish it off. <laughs> it's so close to being finished. Okay, I'll let, I'll let Alice finish that meal, but then do not rest. Just finish that goddamn sculpture. I want to see it. There we go. Look at it. It's finished. It's a wooden sculpture. Okay, title is Quietude Number 1. And this piece bears an image of a group of sabers. A dead prairie dog waits near the edge of the image, and the work has a blocky feeling and a very dynamic structure. Interesting. A group of sabers and a dead prairie dog. Interesting. Okay. <laughs> uh, well, let's have this installed at the moment. I'm thinking like here, we'll put one here, we'll put one there. So we're just going to kind of dot them along here. And this should make this into like a pretty damn impressive hall for them to, to be in. That's the hope at least. Or I could kind of put them in the center and then it will make, I think the beauty will kind of spread around. We'll try that first. We'll put that there. Making sculpture. Uh, you can't haul right now, but you probably should just rest. Yeah, there you go. Get some rest. Oh, I didn't restart my timer. Oh dear. Sorry, I have no far, no idea how close we're into it at the moment. Um, but I think we got to go slightly longer. I was saying uh, for the second episode in the week, I'm going to try and make it that little bit longer. Apologies for the quick interlude there. Had something of a coughing fit, which is now passed. And I thought I would uh, not subject you to that. Uh, as it would be rather fun. We're going to go ahead and fast forward through the night because we can't do much else right now. Dustin, I forgot all about you. I'm so sorry. I'm so, so sorry. We didn't give him a bed. Uh, so I think for now, we're just going to go ahead and chuck down uh, just a simple sleeping spot under structure. Furniture. There we go. Okay. Chuck that there for now, and we'll make this yours. 
There you go. So we've got Dustin on board. He's going to be... Uh, he's the kind of the elder at the moment of the of the little camp. Uh, it's fueled for a little bit longer here. That bear is just kind of hanging out at the moment in Eduard. I'm hoping we're going to be able to bring on as well because he's got a little bit of a better work ethic at the moment and uh, really, really, really good social skill and pretty decent artistic. So we, we'd maybe be able to dedicate him to just doing uh, artworks. Oh, God damn. Come on. Sam, I need that research done. We need to get that geothermal generator up. Um, and we could look at just building another solar panel for now. Maybe, maybe that'll do. Let's have a look. Build you behind here for now. Yeah, I mean, that'll stop anything from going, growing close to it, which um, I'm happy with. A little bit more power for us. Oh, solid, you doing some work? No. Who, who's shooting then? Is that Sam? Sam, what are you doing? You're not meant to be hunting. Go on, I'll let you finish it off. Okay, we need to we need to look at that work schedule again. Hunting's on two, so you should be researching. Okay. <laughs> Disappointed, Sam. Uh, how are we doing on food, actually? Okay, we've got another deer in there as well. So, pretty decent. Pretty decent. More stone blocks incoming as well, which is nice. I'm going to look at constructing some more of these rooms. Take it easy. That's one of our mufflers as well. Eduard is fully healed. Nice, okay. How is he doing, though? He's doing okay. Extremely <laughs> low expectations. I'm not surprised there. More butchering. That research is coming along. Sam, you're doing a good job. Just keep it up. Yeah, so there's no shade there. It's getting 100% power. So if we get another one down, we'll have even more power. Dustin is healing. His scratch will be gone soon. Scratch in the cut. Not far off. Gonna have to move that out of the way. I'm wondering once... Oh, God damn it. Of course. Now, she was feeling okay, so I'm guessing it might be something that just happens. Ah, oh, in saying that, like... Not the greatest threshold in the world, but like that's high enough that she shouldn't break. But I guess she, like, she just decided that I'm gonna start some fires. Um, and so I think we're gonna do the same thing that we did last time. Uh, and that because starting fires in here that's not cool. Uh, I don't think we're going to, um, yeah, I don't think we're gonna beat her up this time. We're just going to be standing by, ready to put any fires out. So Solid is just going to be on watch at the moment. Just kind of watching Alice. I mean, maybe standing back a little bit. Yeah. So you can go ahead and put that out. Which, that, that that's annoying, because we're going to have to, have to try and fix all those... Ugh, that's annoying. Yeah, that's, that's frustrating. Damn you, Alice. But we can put those out pretty fast. We are going to have to heal them, though. Speaking of fires, I did get some advice about kind of putting, like, a perimeter around here, which I think is a really cool idea. Something that I might look at doing, just putting down, like, a basic kind of concrete perimeter. It's not bad. I mean, it stops a fire from actually spreading onto our kind of lush terrain. What are you doing, Aulus? See, I can't remember how long it actually goes on for, but we'll just we'll just hang around for now. I'm gonna have to watch Solid doesn't get too too down just by following Alice around. Oh, Zeke's fixing the place up. Just keeping a nice eye on our friend Alice. You're not gonna set me on fire, are you? I think if we stay close, she doesn't seem to want to do it. Bear? Where's the bear? It sounds like it's like right in amongst us. Oh no, it's up there. That's okay. He's further away. We're getting very close to winter. I think I think we've only got like one day left. Yeah, one day left until winter, so temperatures are going to get a lot lower outside. I'll be interested to see if the landscape changes at all. There we go, put that out. 
<laughs> this is like a really interesting way to take care of someone like this. Just like, okay, we're just gonna follow you around. We're gonna put out your fires. Okay, I'm, I'm actually gonna let Solid off for now, and I think I might swap out because I'm just playing sh playing horseshoes. I can come be the guard for a little bit. I got my pump shotgun. Sup, Aulus? We're doing this again, are we? <laughs> just gonna put out your fires. How long are you gonna do this for? But that ram? I, I thought the ram was actually just following us. It's just wandering at the moment. Yep, I know. I know. How long is it going to last for? Oh, look at that. That's the final piece. The final piece. And then I'm guessing the roof will get put on after that. Stay close. Yep, we put it out. That Ibex isn't like... We're not its master, are we? Maybe we are. I'm pretty sure I didn't train at release. It seems to want to stick really close to us. It doesn't say I'm its master, right? Oh, but then it doesn't say that here as well. You come over here for now. Put the fire out. Go on. There we go. Oh, no. I am its master. Oh. <laughs> the master of the Ibex. Good work, Zeke. Oh, and Dustin's just doing bed rest? Because of dementia or because you're tired? Ah, you don't need to rest, buddy. So I actually need to change that. Uh, I need to take bed rest off, make it less important. There we go. Yeah, go do that. Because uh, that dementia isn't going to go away, unfortunately. Don't think we can do any transplants to fix that. This is unfortunate. Oh, Alice is back to normal. Good. I didn't see. Yay! Nice. Aulus is actually close to breaking? Yeah, I'm not surprised. You're probably quite hungry. He's just been running around lighting goddamn fires. Nice job, Zeke. Oh, we, we only have a little bit left to do there. Hopefully that gets done. Nice work. I'm not going to worry about putting any more light in here just yet. We're not going to use the place. Um, not until we... Not until we're fully set up. And I think once we have that done... Oh, 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 I'm going to be interested to see what the beauty rating kind of goes to after putting that there. Beauty's 52, so that's not bad. Let's have a look. It makes that spot really beautiful, but the rest, it doesn't, doesn't spread so much. Yeah, it's a little, little bit of ugliness around. We can, we can fix that though. Mental break confusion. Oh dear. Yeah, this is going to be happening, isn't it? Spawning around confused. I'm not surprised. That's probably going to be happening a decent amount just because of the, the dementia, unfortunately. Nice work, Zeke. Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> here we go. This will probably be the last thing that we do before we finish up the episode. And I'm not going to leave us on a cliffhanger. We are going to deal with it. The Hornets of Bloodshed have arrived, and they've arrived in a force of three. What do you what do you got? You got some EMP grenades, okay, which is going to take down our turret. You get a machine pistol and a steel shiv. Okay, the machine pistol is probably the, the major thing that we need to be concerned about there. Not super concerned. Uh, so we want to go ahead, we want to reconnect the power on both of these and saying that it's going to draw a decent amount of power at the same time. Now, we're going to get everyone on siege just for now. And now I'm going to come and have a look. So... Solid, we want to be unrestricted. Myself, unrestricted. And Sam, unrestricted as well. Because we're the people with the guns. Solid, we're going to get you to come and place yourself probably around about here. You're going to have the longest range. Sam, I'm probably going to get you to come around the corner here. And myself, I'm going to wait on the corner here. Like so. There we go. I'm sorry to disturb you, Aulis, but there's a bloody raid happening, okay? Alright, solid, do your stuff. Ah, oh, shoot, we don't actually have anyone to turn on the turret. Well, they're gonna be, they're about to EMP it, so... Yeah. Nina, you're the one with the shiv, right? No, you're the one with the machine pistol. Okay, solid, do you have a shot? You do, you're taking a shot, right? Okay. Nice. Okay, come on, people, come on, people. Okay, stand cover. Okay, I need to go and help Sam, and I need Sam to 
start to retreat now. Run, Sam. Oh, okay. You're right. You're right. You're right. I'm going to be waiting around this corner for Kit Kat to come. Okay, you stay right there, actually, Rikon. You be ready to fire. Nice, good shotgun hit. Hook, stay out the way. Actually, this is a little dangerous. Um, I need to... Yeah, I need to stop that for a second, because uh, there's a chance that I'm going to hit those. Okay. Right. Now, where's our machine pistol? Nina's over that side at the moment. Dustin! No, Dustin's confused. That's not good. Okay. Alright. Where am I? Okay, we should be able to come back out and deal with her now. Take a shot, man. Oh, come on. Point blank range. Oh, no. Sam. God damn it. Ah. We lost our little one. Damn it, Sam. I mean, thank you for trying, but... Damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. That's why I was trying to be careful with the shooting so close to them. Should have restricted them. I should have restricted them. That's my mistake. You're hurt, aren't you? Gunshot, machine pistol, yeah. What's the range like on this? Not super great, but I think I might be able to hit her if I get behind this. We can't actually tell Dustin to do anything right now. Oh, come on. Okay, okay, nice. They're running. Okay, let's see if we can chase them down. Damn, we aren't going to get shot. Yeah, not likely. Actually, Solid might be able to get a shot. Okay, we might be able to get, like, one chance to take a shot. Nah, gonna be out of range. Well, we survived, at least. Kind of. Kind of survived. I don't know if we're gonna be able to rescue him or not. Not easily. Okay. Let's come into here, we're gonna unrestrict everyone. I'm gonna turn this into a medical bed, and we're gonna see if we can get Solid to rescue Dustin here. We can't arrest him. I guess I just need to wait for him to stop being confused. Uh, Sam, how are you? Gunshot wound. Okay, so we need to deal with that. You come into here. Rest until healed. And that will be dealt with. Yeah, we'll use, we'll use some medicine on it. Better to be safe. We, don't, we can't risk Sam being injured. Oh, now you turn it on? <laughs> the raid's over, buddy. The raid's over. You don't need to worry about that. You just go and send to Sam. Make sure that she's doing okay. Nice. Good work. Okay. Well, that's that. We survived another raid. It was a bloody raid, and we lost Hook in the process. We're gonna make sure that Hook is given a proper burial it's not cool it is not cool we're probably going to look at making this area an area where we uh, entomb our people yeah well guys and gals we lost a friend but we survived another raid And who knows, we might have another one joining us yet. Uh, I think he's getting a little bit uh, hot. He seems to be stripping off. <laughs> oh no, he, he's, he was naked when he arrived. Just some pants. Oh dear. Hook. It's going to weigh heavily on us for some time. But Hook died protecting us. He was one of us. Alrighty, guys and gals. I have been Rikon. You have all been awesome. And until next time, stay tuned.